What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked L battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are hopping back onto that ranked double ladder with an Evolution team. Yep, you guys heard that correctly. We have four Evolutions on this team alongside with two restricted Pokemon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, just click off the video. Seriously, leave. I don't want you here. Just kidding. You guys can stay a little bit longer, but definitely consider subscribing. It really does go a long way, and it helps me grow as a content creator. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Viking BGC. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I will be linking all of his socials down in the description below. So if you guys want to go check him out, definitely go check him out. But uh, with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off with Yvelta over here. Yvelta's in that top left corner, and he's rocking the Dark Aurora and the Weakness Policy as its item. It's got Oblivion Wing, Dark Pulse, and Heat Wave, alongside Protect as its final move, which is a great move set for a Yvelta that you want to Dynamax. Right next to him is going to be Sylveon, and Yvelta and Sylveon are going to pair up really, really well. This is because Yvelta has a Weakness Policy, and Sylveon has Quick Attack, which Quick Attack can grant first turn priority and proc that weakness policy at the same time so there can be a great lead we can lead them dynamax yvelta quick attack into yvelta proc the weakness policy and go from there sylveon also has pixelate as its ability alongside with the focus dash and then its other three moves are going to be helping hand yawn and protect middle left is going to be umbreon over here and umbreon is arguably the strongest evolution out of all the evolutions it has inner focus alongside with the safety goggles and then it has yawn snarl foul play and moonlight for probably its best move set Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Jolteon over here. And Jolteon's really cool considering I never really used him on the rank ladder before. It has Volt Absorb as its ability. Then it's rocking a Choice Scarf so it can pretty much outspeed any single Pokemon. It's got Discharge, Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, and Weather Ball for its moveset. And this Pokemon pairs really well with that Groudon because, you know, I can freely discharge without hitting my ally Pokemon and just going from there. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Leafeon, and Leafeon is definitely Groudon's best friend. Leafeon has Chlorophyll as its ability, so it doubles its speed in its route, and it's got Life Orb as its item. So pairing this Pokemon up with Groudon allows me to actually get a lot of value out of Leafeon. We can then Dynamax it, get off some big damage, and just go from there. It has Solar Blade, Dig, Iron Tail, and Protect for its moveset. Final Pokemon on squad is that Groudon, our second restricted Pokemon with the Drought and the Citrus Berry. It can set up with Swords Dance, it also has Protect, and then its Lonesome Stab move is Precipice Blades, and then Rock Slide for its Lonesome Coverage move. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, we have that rental code chilling at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Evolution Series 12 team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into our first battle for today's video, we're going up against the heaviest of meta squads. I've been seeing this team all over the rank ladder, and it is super powerful. It's the Zacian Kyogre and Zapdos team that also features Incineroar, Rillaboom, and Grimstar for support. I really want to go into Yveltal as a lead. I feel like that can be really good. Their special attackers intimidate won't affect them, and we kind of just roll off from there. So yeah, we're going to go Yveltal, Sylveon combo, kind of get after the battle that way. We can bring Crowd and Leafeon in the back end, too. Just to take weather control and then having Leafeon to cover or do some damage on a few of these Pokemon, I really do like. I really do like. So I'm going to bring in both of those Pokemon, and I'm going to lock it in, and I'm going to lock it down. But guys, before battle number one even starts, you guys got to let me know for question of the day, what do you guys think are the worst abilities in the game? Last video, I actually did what do you guys think are the best abilities, and then somebody in my comment section down below, to be exact, DJ Can't Skate, actually left me a comment and said, yo. You should do a video or a question of the day where you ask about the worst ability. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Yo, DJ, thank you so much for that uh, that uh, suggestion. I really did like it. So I'm using it for question of the day. So what kind of abilities do you guys think are the worst in the game? But he's going to end up leading the Zapdos alongside with Grimstone. Grimstone can fake out, but I feel like we just Dynamax and we get off an Airstream. And we kind of roll out from there, right? We proc policy. And do I try to get after that uh, Zapdos? I think we try to get after the Zapdos. I really don't want to really don't want to eat up a lightning you know and it stinks because Zapdos is a bit faster that kind of hurts the soul maybe I shouldn't have proc policy maybe I should just yawn at him because he's probably going for lightning to proc my policy so he's gonna end up going into Zapdos maybe he'll end up going after my Sylveon and try to take some speed we'll see how this one plays out here but if I get off this dark aurora this could be good. lovely little dark aurora or not dark aurora dark max darkness with weakness policy pop it could definitely do some good old damage. So we have the Dark War boost. We have Stab. We will have the Weakness Policy proc, and we will legit be able to roll out from there. So we'll see what he wants to do here. We shall see. So I'm going to Dynamax. I go up to 462 HP. God dang. This thing is a beast on the HP board. Quick attacks going to fly through here. No fake outs coming in hot. He might Thunder Wave me. 
It's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Or he might even just set up a light stream. Light stream will probably be his play, right? I think he's going to set up a light stream. Kind of annoying. I hate screens. Yep, there's light stream. I dang it, dude. I hate light stream. So we'll see what he wants to do from here. Is he going to drop a laning? He is just going to straight up air stream. Probably into my Sylveon, right? Yeah, Sylveon should be able to soak pretty well. Which it does, which is gorgeous. And I could pop another quick attack if I wanted to. Or I can help him hand the next shot. It's really up to me. Let's just see how much damage we can actually do over onto the Zapdos. Gonna lose some uh, HP due to Life Orb. And then Max Darkness is gonna fly out here. Which does a huge chunk of damage. So we could take him out with another one. Which I'm thinking of air shooting with that slot. So I can help him hand this one. And I can actually just get rid of Grimstrong if I wanted to. I'm trying to think of Pokemon in the back end that we can kind of just rip up with. Into. Hmm. We do have Leafeon. Leafeon does get ripped up in the neck. We could swap into Groudon. Groudon's not a bad swap. But uh, what should we do? What should we do here? I could definitely quick attack and get off as much damage as I can onto you. And then I'm thinking Airstream can just KO this thing, right? Actually, Airstream would be not very effective. But I would love to actually just helping hand this. I could yawn too. I could yawn this Pokemon. But then he's just going to set the terrain. But it won't affect him because he is flying. We have options here. So I can either helping hand or yawn this turn. I'm thinking of just helping handing and granting myself some speed with an airstream. I think it's going to be my play. I think it's going to be my play because I kind of want to force this Kyogre out here just so I can get out my Groudon and take weather control. And here comes the lightning. I was going to swap into Groudon, but I didn't want to waste my Dynamax. We eat pretty well here and we'll kind of roll off from there. We shall roll off from there. So there goes that terrain. We have helping hand out here. Uh, is what's called faster? Is Javelta a little bit faster? That could be nice. It is. So can we KO with this? Helping hand, weakness policy, proc, stab move. We do. That's gorgeous. So we don't even allow Grimstone to get off the turn. I do like that. So there we go. Speed boost granted for us. I could quick attack into the Zapdos. Um, what can I do here? What are other things I could do here? I'm trying to think. Because obviously Zapdos is a bit faster than this. That's the problem. Zapdos can take out my Yveltal. No problem. He could probably take us out with an airstream, right? And that would also be a problem. So I might guard this turn. Just block that last turn. And then uh, I'm not rocking Sucker Punch, which kind of hurts. But he's going to roll out in this Assassin. So I might just quick attack into the... Uh, I might just quick attack into this bird. Get off as much damage as I can. And then just protect this shot, right? I'm definitely guarding. I'm definitely guarding. He has Pokemon that are way faster than us right now. So I'm going to guard. I'm going to waste out his last turn to that. Because I think he goes into... I think he goes into my Yveltal with obviously one of these Pokemon. And I get static paralyzed. God dang it. <laughs> static comes out here. He's going to airstream into Sylveon probably, right? Yeah, but he's going to take me out. And then he's probably just Behemoth Blading or Play Roughing, right? One or the other. I would hope so. I would hope so. Because I do not want this Pokemon setting up like a substitute or something like that. That would be awful. Let's see what he does here. Just attack me. Yep, he goes for Behemoth Blade. And I can go into Aldon from here, right? Could go in the ground on from here. Probably my play, right? Yeah, we'll roll in the ground on. He might have Kai Ogre in the back end, right? You would think so. You would think so. So I'm gonna bring out ground on. I can drop a blades. I mean, I wish I had sucker punch at this point, but I don't. I wish I did have sucker punch at this point. This could be tough for us. I could drop a rock slide. Rock slide might be a better play for us. So we can get rid of the bird. Because the bird would be a problem. This is a solid battle, but I don't know if we're gonna win this one. So yeah, I'm going to drop a rock, and then I am going to go for a heat wave if I can. Or do I just like Dark Pulse? Hmm. I could get some HP back. I'm going to go for the heat wave. Hopefully he doesn't swap into Kai over here. He does not. He protects his ass. You know, I'm kind of cool with that. I don't mind that. So we get rid of the bird. And he's going to get rid of... I think both birds are going down here. Right? There goes my Yveltal. And then he gets to bring out the rain, which kind of sucks because I have Sylveon. But as long as we get rid of this bird, I feel like we're going to be sitting pretty well here. Please land this rock slide. Please land a rock slide. Just KO is at this. Oh my god. When I need it most. When I need it most. When I need it most. Oh my god, that hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. When I need it most. Because what he could actually do here is swap into. Actually, we outspeeded right now, but I think he's going to swap Zacian into. Uh, I think he's going to swap Zacian into uh, Kyogre and then try to hurricane my leaf gun. So I'm just going to go for this rock slide here. He does not, dude. God dang it, dude. We could have just got some speed off there. Would have been rolling pretty strong. He's going to go for the heat wave. Okay, we blocked that. Like I said, I, we, we need to get rid of the Zapdos. The Zapdos is just a pain, man. Ground's able to eat pretty well. 
He's not gonna die to life or damage, and Behemoth Blade's gonna come up the rear, and we're probably dead to that, right? Like, this bird should have been dead, and then we should be able to soak up this. Okay, Groudon eats. I like that. I like that a lot, Groudon. Good work, Groudon. Can you, can you land this uh, Rock Slide now? And we can hope that he doesn't have Kyogre in the back end. I feel like that's like our only chance. It's him not having Kyogre in the back end. Rock Slide comes out here. We finally get rid of this bird. And now he's forced to throw out his final Pokemon. Which I don't know if it is Kyogre. I would think it's Kyogre. But like he didn't swap into him. Which I would think he would take Weather Control. It's going to be Robum. That's why. Okay, so Robum's going to come out here. He's going to have that Grass Terrain. And I could dig. I could dig. I or I could solar blade. Right here. What do I want to do here? Obviously, I'm gonna go for a blade just in case he like goes for a fake out. Like I said, I could dig. Go into a solar blade too. What would do more damage? Solar blade or dig? Dig will be double damage, but this is not very effective. It is stab though. And then on top of that, it's in the terrain. I'm gonna go for a solar blade and see how much damage we can do. Plus, dig is very predictable. He's gonna go for a grass guide. Oh dang! I thought maybe he would go for a fake out or something like that. That's fine. We're going for a solar blade. Which I don't know if we can outspeed this ass. Let's see. Nope. He's plus one. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. So can you eat that? You do eat that, but yeah, we're gonna die life up here. Let's see how much damage solar blade's gonna do. But not a bad battle. We did. We did miss a nice little rock slide. That kind of hurts the soul a little bit. That would have. That would have uh, gave me an extra turn or, or two. Which would have been good. So the battle definitely would have been a lot closer. But look how much damage that Solar Blade's doing. How much damage that Solar Blade's doing. We go down to Life Orb. And not going to lie, that RNG kind of messes up a little bit. But hey, we'll take that loss on the chin. And we'll hop into our second battle. And look for a first win. Second battle coming at you guys. And every time I say I need something to happen. Or I don't want something to happen. It happens every time. I wish we would have landed that Rock Slide. That Rock Slide could have been huge. And I definitely wish... I could have seen how the battle would have went after that because it definitely would have been close and we definitely had a shot at winning that but it's all good we'll take that one to the chin we'll go 0 and one and we'll hop into our second battle and look for our first win we're going up against a groudon and shadow rider calyrex team with venusaur to pair up with that groudon then he has the incineroar thunderous and then gashon who i don't think he's going to bring in here i could actually end up leading my leaf on a groudon let's go sun straight after him that could be our play or we can go umbreon umbreon's not a bad lead here either I kind of just like Leafeon and Growl and just get straight after this. Wait, it does sound good. It does sound definitely really, really strong. I mean, who could he go into? He could intimidate us. Could definitely int intimidate would be a problem. Intimidate would be a problem, which kind of makes me want to lead like Yveltal and Sylveon. Could be a little bit better, but then I would have to watch out for the sleep powder. It's kind of just a pain all around. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. We're going to go Yveltal in there. We're going to bring Leafeon. And then do I bring Groudon? Do I need Groudon? I do like Groudon. We're going to bring that combo in the back end. So, Leafeon, Groudon in the back end, and then alongside with Sylveon and Yveltal. Is this the same squad that we led last time? Or brought last time? It might be. It might be. It just... It just might be. It just might be. I don't think we brought Umbreon last battle, did we? I can't even remember. Uh, you guys can call me Dory right now. I have short-term memory loss. <laughs> Usually, I have a great memory. Usually, I do. Guess not right now. But he's going to end up leading this Pokemon. So, good thing we did not end up going into uh i think we ended up not going into our sun combo because that intimidate really would have been sturdy so from here i could just protect sylveon and dynamax you both all kind of get after that and actually boost our speed but the lightning's kind of scaring me i mean he outspeeds us first so we might just want to go into it could actually helping hand doesn't helping hand come out before fake out hey, you know i'm gonna helping hand this i'm just gonna airstream or do I Dark Pulse and just try to get rid of this? I think I'm going to Dark Pulse here. Because even if he Lightning, he procs our policy and we should be able to soak it up. We can just get after the battle that way. Yeah, so he's going to Dynamax here. He's definitely faking out my Sylveon. So I would love for him to waste a turn with a Fake Out. Because Helping Hand goes before Fake Out, which is huge. We can kind of just roll from there. Kind of just roll from there. Because again, I think we eat up a lightning all day. That procs our policy, and then we can just get rid of this Pokemon right here. Right, yeah, because look at it. Watch our HP, dude. Our HP is ridiculous. Four, what is it? 426? It's high. It is a high HP. Ridiculously high HP. Let's see what you're at, you know. What is it? What is it, dude? It's four something. 462. Oh my lord. 
still gets stumped on by his ass in one turn, which is embarrassing. But still, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> He's going to end up doing that. Lightning's going to come out here. He's going to go after my bird. Is he parting shot into me? But again, we soaked that up all day. That's exactly what I want to happen. So now we have Helping Hand. We have Weakness Policy Proc. We have Dark War out here. Max Darkness should be able to just pretty much clean up this uh, this Tornadus. And then I think he parting shots into me, which isn't too bad because then we're still plus one on the board. So, I mean, it could be worse. He's going to lose some life orb damage. And here comes big old Max Darkness. Tell me after you. Should be able to KO, right? Get him on that. Solid turn. Solid, solid turn. So I could have actually proc weak this policy myself, but again, I thought he was going to lightning into me and I thought he was going to do fake out, which he did not do. So I do think party shot is coming in hot. So I can yawn with Sylveon now, which could be good. Definitely could be good. He's going to end up taunting me. Okay, that's a little tough. I don't like that one bit. That's my Sylveon you're talking about. That's my Sylveon. So I guess we're going to, we just had to quick attack with that thing. I can't yawn anymore. But uh, yawning wouldn't really have done anything with the electric terrain out. He's going to end up bringing out Groudon. She can't Dynamax and oh. And, and I get first turn. I get first turn. I could air stream. Ran a bit more speed. I mean, I definitely want a quick attack into, like, you. And, I mean, he might protect. I kind of want some speed here. Try to get rid of Vincenor. Because I have the Grout on it and Leafeon in the back end. I really don't want Intimidate coming out here. He does not protect Grout on, which I kind of thought he might have. That's fine. Airstream's going to come out here. And if I get off one more turn with Yveltal, that would be beautiful. Can we KO here? We do. That's big time plays. That's big time plays. I think we can eat up whatever ground I has to offer. Like, unless maybe like I mean a rock slide. I think we can eat it up. Maybe a heat crash. You might not be able to eat up. Let's see what he's going for. A stone edge. Probably not. Yeah, stone edge does me dirty. Stone edge does me dirty. He gets a crit too. It's a high crit ratio, so I'm not gonna complain about RNG. Either. Okay, stone edge was that one move. I, I did not even think of that because most grounds don't even rock stone edge. But I'll take that turn all day because. I can bring out Leafeon now. And who does he have in the back end? Who does he have in the back end? Maybe Venusaur here? Maybe Venusaur, right? Maybe Venusaur? Maybe. Not maybe. Yes, it is Venusaur. So I'm here. I'm just going to quick attack just in case I think it has a sash. And I just think I'd go straight after here. I mean, he might have Weather Ball. I could dig and dip out. I kind of just want to protect and see how this one's going to play out here. Because he might actually protect the Groudon. I'm going to protect the Leafy on this turn. Just to see how this one kind of like plays out. He does not protect anybody. We're going to go for a quick attack here. And we'll see what he wants to do here. Oh, we get a crit. Beautiful. My RNG is amazing. He does have Weather Ball. But we outspeed that. If I can get off the Solar Blade. Which I'm kind of hoping. He crashed coming in hot here too. Don't protect. Not bad. It's Taunt over. Can I shake off my Taunt here? We have one more turn left in Taunt. So, dude, I outspeed all these guys. Definitely want to go for his quick attack, and I definitely want to go for the solar blade. Look at that coming in hot. He does not protect, which is huge. How much damage can the solar blade do? How much damage can the solar blade do? 120 base, 125 base damage. Stab, super effective, life orb. Like, dude, that should be. This might. This should be able to KO, I think, right? Maybe? Does not. That hurts the soul. That does hurt the soul. He's going to end up going for Weather Ball. Okay, so we're dead. We are dead. Indeed. Indubitably, we're dead. Actually, we might be able to eat up this first one. No, we don't. We never do. We never do. And then Heat Crash coming in here. Can you eat this one up, Sylveon? I kind of need you to. A oh, Blade's coming in here. Okay, you can eat up Blades. So now that you eat up that Blades, that's big time. Because I don't know if a Fake Out can actually... I don't know if a Fake Out or a Quick Attack can actually KO him. And what I want to do here, actually, is I want to go into a, uh, because I think just one more turn left in drought, right? No, two. That kind of hurts. Definitely, we have to go into the quick attack. Try to KO that thing. And, uh, do we blades here? Yeah, we should have blades across the board. I mean, that Venusaur is kind of scaring me, though. Quick attack comes in here. Can you KO the ground on, please? Probably not, right? Yeah, you do not. And sleep powers can come here. Oh! <gasps> And they, he does. He forgets that the terrain is out. He forgets that the terrain is out here. So that's big time play. Sylveon's gonna drop out here. We need this blades to connect. I need RNG. Not even RNG. Just normal stuff. Who dodged it? Okay. Um. Okay. That kind of hurts the soul. That hurts. 
Groudon should be dead, but yo, we're gonna take that one chin. We're gonna protect the last turn of Drought just so Venusaur can't outspeed us. Oh my god, that's um, that is awful. That's awful. But he went for the sleep powder in the electric terrain. So we protect. He has Leaf Storm right away. So now we outspeed that. Thank God, because we would have died to that. Blades, we we should be able to circle with blades. Um, we still have our Citrus Berry. The sunlight fades. Like I said, I think Groudon should be faster than Venusaur. Let me check the speed just so I can kind of make sure. I think that that outspeeds him. That could be good. But yeah, we're going to have to go into... Maybe Rock Slide would be a better option. Higher accuracy. Rock Slide KOs both. Let's do it. Let's go for Rock Slide. Can my Groudon outspeed? I don't think my Groudon outspeeds. And his Venus were just outspeeds us. That hurts, man. That hurts, man. We are just... Mmm. Mmm. That's tough. We're losing by this much. By this much. But we're 0-2. We got to grab ourselves a win in battle number three. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a team with no restricted Pokemon. Not one. Does that mean I don't bring in any of mine? Nah, that doesn't mean that. It does not mean that. But pretty cool team. I'm not going to lie. He's got the Garchomp. He's the Gyarados. Maybe Moxie or Intimidate Gyarados. Then he has Support Grimmsnarl. And then he's got the Milotic Metagross, who is a super strong Pokemon, and Gardevoir. Should I lead the Weather Team? I could lead Jolteon, actually. Jolteon's kind of looking pretty cool. I kind of want to bring Jolteon in this final battle. We can go Groudon. We could go Leafeon. Dynamax Leafeon kind of roll up there. Leafeon has a bunch of good moves that can do a lot of good damage on a lot of these Pokemon. So, yeah. Leafeon's going to be good. We're going to bring Jolteon in the back end. And then last but not least, do I roll out with Umbreon? Do I give Umbreon a little bit of love in here? Or do I go safe play with uh, Yveltal? Because we can't we can't lose this battle. We're 0-2 right now. But, yeah, we're definitely going to go with Yveltal here. We are 0-2. We are 0-2. But both the battles were this close. And you guys know the deal. Don't go 0-3. Not now, not ever. Not ever on the YouTube channel. So we're going to win this battle for you guys. We are definitely winning this battle for you guys. Let's see who he goes into. We shall see who our opponent goes into. See, no restricted mods. I mean, maybe Metagross? I mean, if he goes Gardevoir too, that's fine, dude. I can Max Quake that. I can Max Quake that. Or, and I can Blades it. Actually, I'm just going to go into the Steel Spike with uh, Leafeon. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Steel Spike with the Leafeon. I'm going to Steel Spike the Leafeon into the Grimstone slot just so we can get a defense boost. And then I can straight up just Blades across the board. Right, it sounds gorgeous. That sounds lovely. Let's send it. Let's do it. Let's get after it. This is how, this is, this is how, how we're coming to play. So I'm telling you guys, we ain't losing this battle. We're not losing this battle. But it kind of stinks. Our record's not really showing how we played with this team today. Because if we say we win this one, we go 1 and 2. I feel like we definitely could have went 2-1 or maybe even 3-0 and, and grabbed ourselves a winning record. The battles, they were this close. They were this close. And, and considering our opponents are using heavy meta Pokemon, they're just 10 times better than us. Than most of the evolution. It's just how it goes. You're going to end up setting up a, refle a Reflect. That's a smart play there. So Reflect can come out here. I'm surprised you didn't Dynamax and Metagross. Metagross does not come out here with Dynamax. Steel Spike, Not probably not going to KO, but still chip up some nice damage. Or it does KO. Or Leaf Gun is just that strong. He found absolutely ripped in this. Blades has a chance to KO in here. Super effective stab onto this Metagross. Even through the Reflect, I think it has a nice chance to KO in this uh, Metagross. And we're rolling out pretty strongly here at the start of battle number three. The Blades comes out here. Thank God. We're not missing him this time. We're not missing him this time. Can this KO? Does not reflect. Definitely helping him out. And I wonder what he's going for. Maybe an Ice Punch? He does go for an Ice Punch, but this time over into Groudon instead of what's it called? Instead of Leaf Gun. That was a nice chunk of damage, but it was a coverage move, so it's not going to do it. Surprised he didn't Dynamax to Metagross, but I think he made the smart play with two Pokemon like this out on the field. But we have a chance to sweep in this battle. I kind of want to get out Jolteon here. I kind of want to get out Jolteon. I'm not even going to lie. Obviously, I can Rock Slide. But you know, I'm going to get out Jolteon here. I'm going to get out Jolteon, and I'm just going to get rid of this. Uh, I'm just going to get rid of this uh, Metagross. We're having some fun here. So, obviously, obviously, I could have just went straight into... Uh, a rock side here or another blades and then just uh use leaf downs like max uh overgrowth onto the gyarados but i want to get out jolteon dude i want to showcase jolteon with this evolution team it's pretty cool so he's gonna end up dynamaxing uh gyarados that's totally fine i think maybe he like what, what's he gonna do maybe an airstream actually but still if he goes into an airstream i think jolteon still outspeeds a plus one Gyarados. It's it's choice scarfed. It can outspeed a lot. We know Leafeon outspeeds the Metagross. So 
The Metagross should drop out here. We have plus one on defense. Well, at least my Leafy on is. And yeah, we're going to say bye-bye to the Metagross. So not bad turn here. I just need Jolteon to be here next turn because then I could discharge. I could go into a Volt Switch. I could do it. But yeah, special defense boosted out here. Yeah, just a physical set. That really isn't doing anything. And I think he does go into a Geyser into the Groudon slot. So into my Jolteon. Change up weather on top of that. Let's see. No, he goes for the Airstream. Maybe a Leafion. Yeah, so that's not a bad swap. We eat up pretty well. Eat up actually really well. That defense boost def definitely helping us out. We get that speed boost, but again, I think we're fine with just popping a discharge and four times super effective shot into this thing. We're fine with that. He's going to throw out his final Pokemon. We still have weather, and it's going to be Milotic, and that Milotic is gone. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. We're popping discharges across the board. And then we're rolling into a max overgrowth in this slot. Because I think this charge should be able to take out the Gyarados. Please don't cancel battle. Let this turn play out. Let this turn play out. I just want to see the damage it's going to do. Let this turn please play out. Cool, he doesn't cancel. Overgrowth is going to actually outspeed. That should just dump on Milotic, right? It's stab. It's super effective. We're life for him. See you later. And can Jolteon finish off this battle? Can Jolteon do some justice here? And Jolteon pick up a KO on a Dynamax Pokemon in ranked battles. Make it happen. This charge comes out here. Does not, but that's some big damage on a Dynamax Pokemon. We paralyze our Leafeon. <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. We paralyze our Leafeon. He's going to go for a Geyser, which we should be able to eat, too. Yeah, Jolteon should be able to soak that. Big time damage, but the Drought definitely helping us eat that. But that is hilarious. We paralyze our own Leafeon, but the best part is here, my boy still outspeeds with that choice scarf. We could discharge and finish up this battle. That is kind of funny, yo. Paralyze my own Leafeon. <laughs> paralyze my own Leafeon. But yeah, that's going to be GG's. There it is, guys. Like I told you guys, we're not losing this battle. We are not losing this battle. Did we lose a Pokemon? Oh, we have, we're sweeping. We're sweeping. We swept. I'll go for a Solar Blade, even though it's two-turn move, but Jolteon's just going to outspeed. And rip into it ggs we're gonna take that sweep all day and grab ourselves our first win for today's video so one and two that's how it's done the evolution squad ends up going one and two but we definitely could have grabbed ourselves a winner record i feel like battle number one and battle number two were definitely two winnable battles but battle number three was clean nice little sweep we went up against an easy team with no restricted mods leafeon pretty much just thrived out there and then we got out jolteon to pretty much clean up the battle but guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.